Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, yesterday in the US was Manhattan Henge. And for those of you who don't know what that is, simply think of Stonehenge in the UK, that ancient mystical monument which the sun shines through twice a year. So in New York, at uh, well, in the area they call Manhattan, uh, they've built it in such a way that on certain days of the year, the sun shines directly through the skyscrapers in much the same way as it shines through Stonehenge. It's not on any particular equinox, and as far as I know, this wasn't done deliberately, although it may have been, I, I don't know. But uh, yesterday the sun was shining all the way through these skyscrapers, which makes it look kind of mystical. Well, for Americans it looks kind of mystical. The sun shining through skyscrapers just reminds me of uh, of an advert for morning cereal, I think. <laughs> anyway, it's amazing what some people get excited about. If you look on social media, you'll see different sunsets uh, with voices, Americans, of course. Oh, my God. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. It's like they've never seen natural phenomena before. But, you know, Americans always get a bit over the top, a bit hysterical with these kind of things. Um, <clears throat> apparently... Uh, this gives a warm glow over the concrete jungle. That's how they've described it in those pictures here uh, on the BBC website of people with mobile phones staring, looking, crying. You know what they're like. So, yeah, it looked more like uh, um, a Tom Cruise movie, frankly. But, um, yeah, well, by American standards, I suppose it's fairly impressive. Anyway, about... Uh, about news headlines from today. Well, our media is getting even more obsessed with a guy called Philip Schofield. He was a TV presenter here in the UK up until last week when his career suddenly ended. Uh, he had a very successful career on TV. He was on TV when I was a little boy. He was a children's presenter. But uh, anyway, in recent years, he's been presenting a program called This Morning. It's rough. I mean, I haven't seen it in years. Uh, and uh, it seems that they discovered that he was having a romantic endeavor, a romantic relationship with another guy, another male. Now, this, this guy, Philip Schofield, the presenter... He basically <clears throat> had been married. Then he told the world that he was gay. And then uh, he left his wife. But this romantic relationship that was happening uh, was before he told his wife he was gay, before he told the world he was gay. I mean, I don't really see why this is important. Uh, apparently, the TV company said, oh, we investigated it at the time and uh, we were convinced that uh, he wasn't having a romantic relationship. But what if he was? Who cares? I mean, really, aren't we allowed to have romantic relationships? Uh, but unfortunately, the English-speaking world is often built up around morality. We We often... Uh, use morality as a way to tell people they've done something wrong. So in this case, because he was married and he had a romantic relationship, uh, the media really are going into this and investigating it and saying how how bad he is. But, well, I mean, I, I think most people at some point in their life, perhaps, are not always honest with other people or employers. So I really don't see what the big deal is. Um, I feel quite sorry for him because uh, 
if he wasn't gay, I'm not sure this would have been such a big story. Um, yeah, a lot of our criminality and our judicial system is built up around whether you've been truthful. Now, I can understand that if you've killed someone, did a really bad crime, but surely when it comes to relationships, these things are private, aren't they? Between you and your wife or husband or whatever, and who knows, maybe they had, maybe they had agreed that it was okay for Phil to have romantic relationships, who knows, uh, but unfortunately for him, day after day, there's another news story about him, uh, for some reason the lover hasn't been named, I don't know why that is, they've named everybody else, uh, so yeah, they're continually, continuing to hound him is what I want to say, continuing to hound him daily uh, about his wrongdoing. Of course, he's been fired from the show he was presenting. He's been fired from the TV channel he was on. And now the royals have told him that they don't want him working for the royal charity he was involved with. He was a Prince's Trust ambassador, I think, an ambassador for one of their charities. And they've said, oh, no, no, we don't. We can't have you on there, you know, if you're doing these things. Yeah, but Prince Charles did it, didn't he? When he was having an affair with Camilla. So a short memory there, I think. So it's okay for the royals to do it, but it's not okay for Phil to do it. Wow. Anyway, I don't understand. I don't know why this is a story even, um, but daily it's all we are seeing. Philip Schofield on TV. The other big moral moment which the American media are having is that it's been discovered that uh, Prince Harry, in his autobiography, Spare, uh, he said that he's taken drugs, but it looks like he perhaps didn't tell the American government that he had taken drugs in the past. And as a direct result people are demanding to see his visa application. Because if he's saying now that he, he had taken drugs in his life and he didn't declare it to the American government, he could, in theory, lose his visa. I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, it seems that there's some problem getting a hold of his visa application. People are asking. People want to see exactly what he's... Uh, put on an application form? Did he tell the American government that he he had once taken drugs? Uh, so if that is discovered, that he didn't declare it, um, who knows what's going to happen there? Who knows? Uh, he could end up homeless without a country to go to. But Anyway, I doubt that's going to happen, not with his prestige, money, and being royals. Um, but yeah, so that's the story from today uh, about Prince Harry. That's brewing up like a very bad pot of tea. And uh, Manhattan Henge, as well as the disgraced TV presenter, Philip Schofield. So that's it from me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's talk again soon. Bye.